All right, let's clear up some space here in DaVinci Resolve by deleting the cache. Go up to playback and you've got that one right there, delete render cache. So you've got three options, all unused or selected clips. All is pretty self-explanatory. It's all the cached files that are deleted. Unused is the cached files whose corresponding clips are no longer used. So basically this is saying if you're still using a cached file, it won't delete those. It will delete anything that's unused. And selected clips will only delete the cache for whatever's in the timeline. So anything I have up in my timeline right here. So I'm gonna choose all. That's it, that's how you delete the cache. You can also delete them manually by going into the file where they are stored. So in that scenario, you want to click on the icon down here, which will take you into your project settings. And then that's gonna pull up your project settings and under master settings, scroll down and you've got working folders. So in my case, it's actually being saved to my D drive. By default, yours will most likely show wherever you did your DaVinci Resolve installation, most likely like C drive, Resolve projects, cache, something like that. So anyway, so I'm gonna to go to where I have mine and I've got my cache clips and here are those cached files. Now, most of them are gone because I just deleted them a second ago. Be careful when doing this because you don't wanna delete something that you actually want to keep the cached file for or something else. So please don't leave a comment to this video saying, hey, I accidentally deleted such and such. How do I get that back? Or I followed these instructions and it caused me to delete this thing. This is me now warning you not to do that and to potentially just go in like what I'm doing right now and just picking specific ones that I want to delete and maybe keep anything that's a bit more newer. And there you go. Hopefully that helps.